Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today, I'm going to be talking about backup. Not backing up in the game to fix an error, although I probably should make a video about that at some point. This video is going to be about the backup mechanic from March of the Machine. Amy plays Golden Scale Aeronaut, while she controls Resplendent Mentor, and she backs up her Grizzly Bears. Can Grizzly Bears tap to gain one life this turn? Okay, so first of all, tap gain one life is an ability. It isn't a keyworded ability, but that's not what backup looks for. So at least in principle, it should be possible for backup to give an ability like this. On top of that, the Resplendent Mentor gives the ability via a continuous effect. There's no time at which the Aeronaut is on the battlefield that it does not have this ability from the Mentor. So it definitely does seem like this could happen. Unfortunately for Amy, backup doesn't work this way. The ability needs to be printed on the backup card in order for backup to grant it. This rule means that the backup ability does not give the Grizzly Bears the ability to tap for one life in the situation described in the original problem statement. If you noticed, backup also excludes abilities that are gained as part of a copying process. So if you copied a gold scale aeronaut with a phantasmal image, then the creature you backed up with a phantasmal image would gain flying, but it would not gain the ability that makes you sacrifice it if it's targeted by a spell or ability. I suppose there's one other concept related to backup that I should go over. Let's say that Amy plays a Golden Scale Aeronaut, and she targets Grizzly Bears with the backup trigger. Could Nick play a Humble against the Aeronaut in response in order to stop the Grizzly Bears from getting flying? Okay, so once a triggered ability goes onto the stack, it will go on to resolve, even if the creature that had that ability loses it. Also, we have this rule here, which says that abilities granted by backup are locked in at the time the backup ability is put onto the stack. Because it's not possible for Nick to play the Humble against the Aeronaut before the backup ability triggers, there's no way that he can stop the Grizzly Bears from getting flying unless he waits for the backup trigger to resolve and then plays the Humble on the Bear at that point. The situation gets a lot more interesting though if we're talking about a Dress Down rather than a Humble. If you were to play the Dress Down in response to the Gold Scale Aeronaut, then the Aeronaut will not have any abilities when it resolves, which means that it won't have backup and that ability won't trigger at all. Likewise, if you were to hold the dress down until after the backup trigger has resolved and then play it, then the dress down's loses all abilities would have a later timestamp than backup's gains flying, which means that the creature that was backed up will lose all of its abilities, even the ones that backup gave it. The really interesting case, though, is what would happen if you responded to the backup ability by playing dress down. Like we said before, the backup ability will go on to resolve normally and give flying to the Grizzly Bears, even though the Aeronaut has lost both the backup and flying abilities by the time it resolves. But in this case, the Dress Down actually has an earlier timestamp than the backup ability that gives flying to the Grizzly Bears. This means that the Grizzly Bears actually will have flying in this case because the backup will apply after the Dress Down. Pretty cool trick, right? But that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again next time for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.